So high school has a way of humbling you, whether you're asking for it or not. And uh, by the time I was a senior in high school, I was, you know, I was pretty well liked. I was real sporty. I played a bunch of sports. I was a good student. Teachers liked me. Um, but it was real funny. And I ran with a crowd that was really more concerned with being cool and pretty and stuff, which was great. But as the funny girl, I got teased a lot. I kind of got a lot of unwanted attention. So I constantly felt like I was really just trying to blend in and get through it. <laughs> Um, but I took a drama class for an art elective, and it turns out uh, I was pretty dope in drama class. Uh, <laughs> I was really funny, and people loved it, and, and uh, I felt great. Uh, so my best friend in, in class was Josh Collins, and Josh uh, was like a young, handsome Cedric the Entertainer. And uh, <laughs> he rode the bench on the football team, but he was more popular than the quarterback. He was really funny, and I was this tall, lanky white girl, and he was a short, stout black dude. And we were quite the comedy pair. And our classmates really enjoyed our banter, but unfortunately our teacher grew tired. And eventually <laughs> she separated us. Now, Ms. Reeves, who was our teacher, uh, she was a very typical drama teacher, just draped in like a shit ton of fabric, regardless of the season, <laughs> and walked and talked as if she might burst into song at any moment. And uh, so she'd separated us. And the day after our separation, Josh comes in. This is our first day sitting separately. And he's gonna come in, he's gonna give me this huge hug. Well, we sat at these like desks that were attached to the chair. So once you get in, you're kind of locked in for the remainder. And certainly with my giant body. So as he comes over to give me a hug, I sort of I sort of get caught in like a half stand and my neck's weird. And, and he ends up giving me like this bear hug of death. Just hugs me so tight. And I don't know what he, what he severed, but he cut off, I couldn't breathe. And I couldn't even get out. Hey Josh, too tight. Um, I was already unconscious. So, cut to, uh, I wake up and my head's down like I've been sleeping in class, which is funny because drama's probably the only class I didn't sleep in. And class is in sesh. Miss Reeves is teaching. Everyone's paying attention. It's like, it's like I didn't black out. I don't know. Um, so I sort of, I'm afraid to sit up because I have this moral hangover of like, what happened? So I'm feeling around. I feel the back of my hair and it feels fried which according to the girls that French braid my hair before volleyball games, I have very silky hair. So I don't, I don't really understand why my hair feels fried. And, and of course my next thought in my confusion is that I've been electrocuted, uh, which I knew I wasn't electrocuted, but also what if I was electrocuted? I don't know. So I looked to my, the girl sitting next to me, Molly, who was the type that didn't talk in class or much at all for that matter. And I sort of, with my head still down, I sort of look over and I whisper to her and I'm like, Molly, what happened to me? She's like, what? What happened to me? I don't know what you're talking about. And then all of a sudden Miss, I hear Miss Reeves, Mackenzie, sit up please. Shh. So I sort of sit up bracing for I don't know what. And again, Class is just in sesh. No one's, no one has had, understands the experience that I have. I'm so confused. I sort of look for Josh and I'm like, oh yeah, Josh hugged me. And he's got this like Cheshire grin on his face and I'm starting to gesture to ask him what happened. And I realize that my right wrist is insanely sore. Guys, what the fuck happened to me? What, what, what the hell? So I'm starting to get pissed and I'm like, Okay, so it seems like Josh electrocuted me. The whole class has decided they're just gonna keep it on the low and tell no one. I finally touch my hair again. There's dead leaves in my hair. Did I take a stroll? Did they try to bury me and then gave up and put me back in my seat? I don't know. So class ends and I, I ask Molly again, please explain to me what happened. So here's what happened. Um, I was unconscious, uh, wrapped in Josh's arms. He doesn't notice, and neither does anyone, because my face is buried in his chest, and he's swaying with me, and oh, my baby girl, I miss you so. Everyone's sort of giggling or whatever, and then he lets go. Of course, I'm unconscious. My limp body sort of slips back into my desk chair, and my head falls back into what is a dead plant <laughs> I went to public school. So I'm in this <laughs> dead plant with my mouth agape. I look like I've died. 
<laughs> well, for most people, that would be kind of scary. But for Mackenzie, the funny girl, uh, they all assumed it was a joke. And Josh, my comedy partner, rose to the occasion and went along with the gag. So he's checking my pulse. He's giving me fake CPR. He's calling for the medic. She's not going to make it. Somebody call a doctor. They, they call it time of death, 12.05. Uh, he says his goodbyes, and as he's going to his seat, all of a sudden I, I rise up. Again, still in my blackout. I rise up and I grab his right arm with the kind of strength that I think only comes from like a young mom lifting a car to save a child. And I, he, and I won't let go. Now everyone in the class thinks this is still part of the bit. I don't want my partner to leave me. And he's like, baby, you gotta let me go. I gotta take a seat. And uh, he said I had this face like I wanted to murder him or I wanted to kill him. I probably did. I've clearly just risen from the dead to avenge my own murder. And I've caught the murderer and I'm like, grab him! Um, but anyway, no one, no one knows any of this has happened. So eventually I let go and I put my head down. And uh, you guys know the rest. So needless to say, while I thought I was hot shit in drama class, uh, I passed out. And instead of coming to my rescue, my classmates played with my limp body <laughs> and laughed hysterically. So, how was high school for you? <laughs>